now look at this image when you are asking for permission okay when you are seeking permission here it is given us when you are granting permission when you are granting permission what are the modal verbs you can use you can go to the cinema can can is is used as a modal verb for giving permission another one is in the evenings we could watch tv that is also granting permission you can also ask for permission when you are using modal verbs for example may i enter the classroom can i enter the classroom could i enter the classroom what is the difference between all these words is that the level of formality is the difference what do you mean by formality when you are very close with your friends okay and when you are with your relatives with your friends very close people you can use the modal verb can okay can i take your pencil can i take your rubber that way you can ask but when you are talking to someone of authority like your class teacher or your principal you can you have to use may may i enter your room sir may i ask a question ma'am so that shows more respect when you are using me for asking permission it is showing more respect but there is no mistake in using can or also over there okay grammatically there is no mistake if when you are asking your friend may i take your glass of water nothing mistake is there Where, when you are talking to your class teacher you are asking can i ask you a doubt ma'am there also no mistake is there so grammatically there is no mistake when you are writing when you are writing answers but when you are speaking it is generally told that for giving more respect we will use may and when you are speaking with your friends we will use can okay so that is about asking for or giving permission then possibility so what are the words which you which is used for possibility can could may might would these are the modal verbs that can be used for uh, suggesting a possibility measles can be quite dangerous this was could be very valuable so you are not sure what the price of the was okay was means what a flower pot okay you are not very sure about it so you are telling could be he may be waiting for us at the airport again not sure chances only john might come to your party again chances difference between may and might again it is similarly like can and can and may may is you are not very sure might means very less chances it is like you can say 25 percentage of chances if it is there you are using might and 50 more than 50 percent chances are there you are using may it's general explanation okay would john come with us if we asked him again would possibility next is speculation what do you mean by speculation speculation means you are suggesting something okay you are expecting or suggesting something he may have gone to spain with mary chances in a way you can say chances also you are guessing okay guessing speculation means guessing someone might have already told his father what would i have i have done without you where shall or will we be this time next year so you are guessing something you are expecting something so for that also we are using these kinds of modal verbs the next one is your ability okay when you are speaking about abilities abilities means your qualities your talents can and could can is used for present ability could is used for past ability just look at this i can swim means you can still swim you have the ability to swim you know how to swim you have the knowledge to swim that is the meaning of it i could swim when i was 5 so past tense we use could which means that at 5 years old you knew how to swim but at 15 years old you have forgotten how to swim so it is a past ability which you do not have now 
again suggestions for suggestions we are using could and shall shall we buy her a hat it is a suggestion you are giving request this is what i said you can seeking permission requesting for all this we are using sentences like can i go to the cinema tonight could you lend me dollar 5 please may i leave the room would you please close the room so all these sentences questions when you are asking if you put it in the other way round also there is no mistake may i leave the room can i leave the room could i leave the room all means the same only thing is that the level of respect changes when you are using each time a model verb when you want to be more respectful you can say may if you are with your friends and uh, someone you know you are very familiar with you can use can so that is the difference over there now to show prohibition that is uh, something is denied to you it it is not given to you you have to use the word must not shortened form mustn't you mustn't eat any more chocolate so orders when you are giving orders instructions you have to use words such as must should etc you should never repeat what you have just said it is an instruction which is given necessities to show something which is necessary the word to be used is must we must buy some more vegetables we must work hard to get good marks we must stay indoors when there is covid so it is all necessary things to show that we will use the word must obligation obligation means what obligation means your duties or responsibilities to show that duties and responsibilities we are using the word must is there have to is also an modal verb should is also a modal verb used to show your duties and responsibilities you must study harder okay it is your duty so must study harder i should be studying but i am too tired okay it is your duty to study but you cannot study can you suggest some more examples with obligations i must take care of my parents okay that is a duty um i must follow the traffic rules or you should follow the traffic rules that is a duty as a citizen okay so that is duties and responsibilities advice when you are giving advices also you should go to the doctor tomorrow you must go to the doctor tomorrow what is the difference in this again it is depending on the level of advice when you say you should go it is like you can go you cannot go you may go you may not go it is your choice i am giving you an advice that you are not feeling very well so it is better that you go and see the doctor now it is up to you whether you want to go or not you are not being very strict over there but if you want to be strict you have to say you must go to the doctor which means that you don't have a choice it is my order and that should be followed to so to show more strictness you can use the word must if you are less strict about your advice you can use the word should so that varying degrees of uh, advice that you are giving accordingly you can use should and must now we will do one exercise for you to have a better understanding on what is the models complete this conversation with the correct models from the box very simple exercise from your textbook so there is a conversation and you have to fill in the blanks with the models Rohan excuse me could you please tell me how to reach the planetarium okay so it is a request that you are making so could so neelima gives the direction go straight and walk to the end of the road you will see a bus stop at the corner so will will is showing what over here will is showing a future action next rohan is asking which bus should i take again you are asking for an advice so asking for advice should neelima you can take either bus number 30 or 34 to jodhinagar you can 
so over there it is it is an ability okay showing over there then it is can i walk from there to the planetarium so can again you are asking for an suggestion can yes it is around 200 meters from the station and thank you rohan so my darlings have you understood what modal verbs are one more class will be taken on modal verbs so you will get more understanding on it so i hope whatever i have taught right now is very clear for you modal verbs means helping verbs modal verbs adds more clarity to the sentences that you are giving and it also adds more meaning to it so there are different kind of modal verbs to be used at different situations we have already studied everything in detail there is a format and a table for the modal verbs in your textbook read through that many many times and learn it by heart okay so that is very very important one test paper i am attaching do that so that you will get a better idea on modal verbs so keep working hard and study very well take care of your health eat good vegetables and drink lots of water stay safe and stay good thank you